You're live with The Basement, your source for live and local Michigan music, and we're here with Hot Mulligan. Hi, all. Hello. 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 Greetings. Thank you guys for coming in for this interview. Thanks You're for welcome. having us. Yeah. All I have simultaneously. Yeah. Lots of questions. <laughs> and I'm only talking unison, actually. I was thinking like rapid fire questioning is probably the best mm. for this group of folks. I agree. So like, no, nah, it's actually a lie. Quick I want to hear as much of what you want to say as possible. So I'm going to say first, when did you guys start being a band? Like, who are you? Where'd you come from? <laughs> uh, from, s- from what depths of what realm bandness of bandness did you come from depths we're from the great white north yeah you are and i was trying to lead into that and i was like i don't know how to say exactly where you're from uh but you're from the up upper peninsula of michigan i played in a bad reggae ska punk cover band and it's Tades, almost all genres yeah yeah interesting enough and uh tades played in a pretty bad punk band and uh, but I liked him, and he liked me. We crossed streams the first times we met, and uh, so then our band started in September 2014, maybe. I believe. Yeah, um, around <laughs> that time, maybe it was September 2013. Were you guys in high school at the time? Yes, I was. Um, oh, babies! I was a junior. I was only a grade above you. Yeah, you were a senior yeah. when we started. That's why when we played Bloodfest, we had to drive as quickly as we could up to the UP. So that Chris could go to school the next day. Oh my god! That's right. <laughs> when did you guys play Blood? Um, that was 2015. Like the first. 2015. Yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. Have you guys played Blood more than once? Yeah, we played it three times now. What? You guys are like cool or something? Nah, but we. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Next question. Lies. <laughs> Lies and also slander. Yeah. Um, blood fest, which I think is the best fest. Uh, that is a strong fest. It's a shame that it's coming to an end. I would have loved to play it again. Me also. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ryan's here too. Ryan joined in the origin story. Ryan is piggybacking off of us now like a leech. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. No, okay. that's all right. <laughs> we needed a guitar boy, and Ryan's a very good guitar boy, so we had him join in after we moved down to the Lower Peninsula. But Bloodfest, anyway. First time we were there, we played in this tiny classroom where crowd surfers were like kicking out ceiling tiles. Oh my gosh. And that was wicked. And then we played way early in the day on main stage where, like, it was the most people that we'd ever played to. And the first on that stage that year? Yeah. 2016? And then, uh, was it, it was last year that we played last time, right? Mm-hmm. 2018? Yeah. yeah. And uh, that was wicked. People, like, hurt their shins against the stage and oh, stuff. Gosh. Someone it, went to the ER with mm. a, a fractured shin, and I signed her cast. Oh, and then, oh that's nice. Yeah, she came back so yeah, that she, you could do that. She oh went, gosh. got her cast set, and then came back to Bloodfest so that we could sign and take pictures with her broken leg. That's incredible. I remember setting up that stage, and my job was to make it, like, proofed, like, for that. So I put all the spongy stuff on it. It didn't and work. And no matter how right. Well, no matter <laughs> how much, like, sponge stuff I put on it, it was just kind of like, it's just going to happen. Gonna People happen. will get hurt. Legs are going to get broken. And I was like, but no, then it's on me. And they're like, just don't say anything. So here I am <laughs> saying it on radio for you oh fine folks. Gosh. Well, you got to get like the, when you're in the front of a uh, show as powerful as what I can assume a hot mulligan show is, you got to do like the one knee on the, oh, for one sure. foot on the stage deal. Otherwise you're, you're dead. You're Always dead ready to kick up that back leg. That's well, just exactly. fall straight on stage. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say is if that were to have happened, because the first three rows... Last year when we played, we started Derry, I think, and the first uh, three rows all collapsed in. Oh, my gosh. First note was an avalanche. Yeah. It was awesome. (laughs) And it, like, shot people onto the stage, and that's where a few people got hurt. And we were like, oh, okay. All right, let's kick this off with blood. (laughs) (laughs) We're coming for blood. Well, that's awesome. I I love a good blood fest story. Me too. Nothing better. I had strep throat. You didn't. That's you didn't ba- ask. I, <laughs> it was horrible. That's a bad. Blood oh yeah. Story. I was like on the ground the whole time, but like not because of the pit, but because of my own immune system. Not to make this about me or anything. No, yeah, not to completely um. make this interview about the host. <laughs> anyway, what's our next question, Katie? Uh, our next question was, well, how did you all find each other? And you, I, I was mainly curious about like how your lineup has changed over the years. Like you came down from the UP. Did you come down for? school and then continue doing music or was it mainly like we need to come down and do music here i I came down for school but i kind of picked school based on uh like the community i have i was choosing between either northern michigan or msu and i feel like nmu is not the best place to have a punk band who's to say um, (laughs) that wants to tour and like branch out and play Mm -hmm. detroit every other weekend or 
the west side and so brought this guy yeah and when when <laughs> he moved i was just like i was a lumberjack and i had nothing to do so okay I were you like, actually a lumberjack bro? yeah i used to cut that's down amazing. trees for a living. that's what i needed to know because you have like the demeanor of a lumberjack you have Is the, it the look. beard yes. it's the mm. it's the beard if it's you hand beard. me a chainsaw and point at a tree i'll kill it for you <laughs> I oh will. Boy. I will do that next. A true time man. You. But uh, yeah, I just kind of followed suit because I had nothing else to do. That's not like super fulfilling work, if you like art. So. <laughs> and I met Ryan during uh, orientation when I came to visit MSU for the first time. We were, we weren't roommates for the night. But we were sweet we, mates. Yeah, we ended we shared up shared a bathroom. Right. Right. Oh my god. And the uh, origin story grows. I know. I told him all about my band, and he's... I did not care, even a little <laughs> bit. He was like, yeah, man, I, I play drums in this band. And I was like, all right, man. And he kept showing me videos oh on YouTube gosh. of that Bloodfest performance. And I was like, cool, man. Uh, and then eventually, it did not take very long for him to say, we need someone to play guitar. And I kept saying no, and then Tade said yes. That makes sense. Yeah, we ended for up, you. We also yes, he just said coincidentally yes ended up living one building away from each other freshman year without planning to and then <laughs> saw each other on campus and we're like what's up it just dude? happened so often yeah it was weird it, it was, was inevitable it yeah. was fate hey ryan i'm in a band do you want to hear about it <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly like down. that mm. when i finally start my folk punk ska band i'm gonna go to ryan first <laughs> yeah. it's gonna happen you in laugh. the up you have to start in the, the UP. you're right i have to yeah. move. that's a detail i didn't know i have to pull a reverse hot mulligan you're right mm. i mean all you really need to do is find somebody who's like good at an instrument and then tell them you're in my band now and, and then, then that's it. yeah if you say it enough at them then they'll lose willpower and join your band that's it's, what we did to brandon yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird kind of hyp- hypnosis hmm. that's too good so you you said um chris was initially playing drums you well, were initially playing drums yep I, what i played drums for our first two eps uh just i was a drummer first but i was sick of playing drums in my cover band and not writing songs, so I wanted to write songs, but none of the guitarists we were playing with would play like what I wanted to hear. So I mostly learned just so I could write songs. And then I started singing a lot more in the band, so I'm like, it just makes sense for me to be up front, and it's easier to find a drummer to learn these songs than when I'm starting to experiment with these other tunings and stuff and trying to teach someone who plays guitar more traditionally how to play what we were playing. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That's really interesting. Yeah, just do it yourself. Yeah. D- D- or don't. I- <laughs> do it yourself or don't. Or get um, drawn into the band against your will like Ryan did. <laughs> do yeah, I don't know there's that... two types of bandmates. You it kind of worked out because I also only played guitar traditionally. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the first time we jammed together, we accidentally wrote a song that ended up on uh, Opportunities. But... Chris was like, hey, uh, you should tune your guitar to this tuning. And I didn't know what I was doing. And then I kept doing it because Tade said, you're a guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> and then I played shows and, yeah. It just kept happening. It just kept working out. And it don't stop coming. And it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming. Like the flesh that hates, Hot Mulligan will draw you in. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome to the interview. So I was going to say as well, um, you guys kind of, Chris and Tades, you share um, vocal duty and it sounds like you also kind of share songwriting duty, but is it like, do you guys jam full band and figure out songs? Or like, wh- where the lyrics come from? I want to know. Well, Specifically the lyrics. Okay. Lyrics are, sometimes it's just Hades, who I bring him a song idea, and he writes all of the lyrics to it and gives input in changing the song structure or chords or something, um, but without playing guitar, because he doesn't. So he communicates that in a way that I understand. Sometimes I just have a full song, and I bring it to everyone, and then sometimes Tades or I will have one or two lines, and then we're like, yeah, but we don't know what to do with this, and then the other person ends up finishing the song. Historically, it's worked out pretty even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A good 50-50 between you yeah. guys, usually. It, it, uh, it's just kind of dumb luck, it seems, that like it's split the way that it is, but uh, we'll see Like for things that, for as we continue writing, what happens i the way it feels for me is that it's going to stay 50 50 right yeah lately it's been not so much of one of us coming up with one idea and the other person finishing it but just we've just been finishing our own songs better now where i think we're both more comfortable writing full lyric songs and knowing what we want to get out of our lyrics when we start instead of like 
help me carry this thing, buddy. <laughs> like, I could use you. The best part about uh, Tade's writing <clears throat> is that I will invite Tades to a social function such as, I don't know, a house party. And we'll go and we'll pick up beer and we'll show up at the party and we'll hang out and he'll disappear and I'll find him four hours later sitting in a corner by himself, crisscross applesauce on the floor with a notepad and a pencil. And I'll say, hey, bud, what are you doing? He's like, I hate these things. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I hate partying. I hate fun. I'm here for my art. And he'll sit in the corner and write a song and it'll art. end up awesome. I hate, okay. <laughs> I hate parties where it's like a bunch of people that I don't know because like why would I party with a bunch of strangers when I can party with my buddies like it, it, I don't know it's what armadillo shells is it's like <laughs> this sucks I want to go home like I don't know I write I, I like to write at parties it settles my mind so what I'm hearing is every time we need new Hot Mulligan songs, we just have to drag Tades to an environment he doesn't want to be in. Yeah, invite me to something awful, and I'll put <laughs> I'll put out some some lyrics for you. Don't do that to me. Please. So hanging out with Ryan gets you invites to things that are awful. Is that what I'm picking up on? I, I mean, they're not. Hang out with Ryan anymore. Don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're truly awful. Like it seems like a good time for everyone else, but like I'm a really uh, the way my girlfriend describes me is hum- human sandpaper. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> and, like, How I romantic. get it. I'm a very abrasive boy, and I'm very loud, and I'm kind of mean. So. <laughs> you just got to get used to it. UP anger. You got to get sanded down by the sandpaper. I wish I didn't extend that metaphor, but it's kind of <laughs> Yeah, no, thank you for explaining that. Yeah. You're, you're welcome, babe. So. You're ever so welcome. Oh, that's too funny. So, so you guys have put out music, correct? Yeah, once or twice. Yeah. Okay. So right. when you were when you were doing that. Wait. 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 Chris, Chris let out the vape pit. Thank well, you. So I'm, I'm really good at ghosting it, so I can get away with it on airplanes. Once or twice. Oh <laughs> Not holding it in. <laughs> I was gonna say. I don't even. I don't know if I want to say this anymore. I'm just so focused on the fact that you're vaping in my studio. I'm watching you do it. No, I you're not. I can see it happening. No, yeah, the holding can't. it in and like lying is just. <laughs> I didn't do it. Mom, I didn't do it. All right. Well, anyways, while well, you guys gimmick. take a, a deep breath of fresh air <laughs> in our studio, uh, what's the situation with shows coming up? Do we have some on the books? Are there things that you can share with the listeners? We got a boatload of them. Yeah, we got a lot. 20 something, maybe 30. It's almost uh, like you're going on a tour. Yeah. It's almost uh, like. You could say we've it. Got you can our, say that. One could say. We've got our first proper headlining tour this Ooh. spring. <laughs> and Cheers. Full U.S. tour with uh, one Canadian date. Where's nice. the Canadian date? I believe it's Toronto. Wow. Yeah. It's a strong choice. It is. It's probably one of the better places in Canada. I've never I been. I've just heard good things. And then uh, aside from that, we've got another thing booked for later this year, but we can't talk about that Well, then yet. why would but, you even oh tease my gosh. it? Because you asked if oh, there's anything I did. that... I did. You know, if... Touche. What can we talk about? What we can't? We could tell you we will play more shows this year, and that's probably not surprising to anyone. No. That's true. <laughs> Surprise, the um, Hot Mulligan is not actually ending right now. <laughs> they will keep going and keep touring. No, I saw that's that That's all we can that say. was like, we're going to write the new album and then just die and i was like yeah yeah that well, sounds that <laughs> almost right. happened oh, yeah <laughs> that's what fenton was yeah Oof. that's what you planned for at least yeah we we went down to record that with matt Carragas because chris texted me and he was like hey i booked time with matt Carragas to record an album and i was like why, why? And then, <laughs> i wanted to know what we would sound like if we went somewhere and that like wasn't my basement just just to see i'm like well mm. Probably never gonna have like a band like this again. So let's just go record these three songs we wrote, and then uh, we'll peace out, and we'll just know like we wrote those songs together one time, and this will be like this one fun weekend that we had one time. One time. Yep. And then. And then. And then it all snowballed from there. And they don't stop. No, it just didn't stop. That's wild. That's like it's kind of sad, but it's also like you know, you you were gonna have a good run of it. Right. And now we get to have more of you because it got bigger than that so that's that's a wholesome time i guess yeah it's cool because it just started with like we were satisfied just going down for that one weekend so everything after that was like it's a bonus yeah it's, it's a bonus. fun little extra a tour bonus yep the secret thing you won't talk about bonus Good big bonus, bonus. I am <laughs> so, it's still cool. so very mad that you said that and large just size bonus it's just me. them hanging out in the basement actually <laughs> they're, they're gonna play the basement Whoa. Whoa. in a year oh my gosh <laughs> So I, I briefly mentioned like albums. You guys put out 
a couple of things and you've got something new that you're thinking about i think is that true we're gonna be writing again this year wow like a record a full, like, a, like a big boy one like an entire one a full oh boy gosh. record Way everyone can enjoy our sophomore slump. Wow, I was gonna say Tate's been going to some bad parties. <laughs> yeah, that's, true. that's that's actively true. Um, so does that mean we might hear new songs on tour? Or are you guys not quite there yet? I don't uh, think we're gonna play anything new hmm. on the tour, unless hmm. we kill it. Like, hmm. <laughs> unless a miracle prob- happens. Yeah. yeah, odds are super low for that. Well, it's, it's still exciting to hear there's new Hot Mulligan coming. Yeah, we love that. We love we love to see that. We stand. We <laughs> I love that for us. I was, thank you. Thank you for all being the same level of meme that we are. I'm on yeah. Twitter too, don't worry. Right. Ryan, you're very on Twitter. Do you um, want to p- plug your ad? No. It sounds like something you I asked, don't let him. I asked Ryan the other day I need to see a screenshot of like his screen time cuz Apple does oh that now on your phone. Oh my gosh. Right. Cuz I swear every time I sign on on Twitter it's like Ryan replied to some tweet like mm-hmm. 37 seconds ago and the tweet was like made 48 seconds ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I think it's just uh, your name that pops up, like for my Twitter notifications. That's true. I'm that's like, oh, true. another one. I, I wish. What well, band sorry. is he tweeting for? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Malik is in every Michigan band. Uh, you true. were close on that one. Did I? Oh, how do you say it? Malik C. Ah, isn't well, that what she said? Yeah, Malik. it's not. not you what said Malik I did. It was Malik-y. like a like a L E E K. Like there's mm. a leak in my boat, and then there's what? an actual leak. And that's like a, it's a snake. Leak. No, boat. In my boot. Oh my gosh, we need to stop. We need to cut this now before we That's go my too, favorite line in Toy too deep down the movie Can reference rabbit hole. God, we're here now. Well, any hoodles, you guys have a tour coming up. That's very exciting. You've been on tours before. What's your favorite <laughs> tour memory? We've been on tours before. Man, you guys have to go first because I just thought of one the other day that I thought was really hilarious and I was like, I need to remember this for the interview. So I'm going <laughs> to think about it. Gotta save it. Okay. You gotta save it. Yes, this is it. We oh, went, we found I, it, it. It came to me. We were in Puerto Rico in, what, I think it was 2017. September, yes. yeah. September 2017. And uh, we go out to the club and everyone can drink, you know, mm-hmm. because oh. the drinking age is less 18, than 20. Yeah. yeah, it was 18 there. And uh, there was an extension cord, like, taped on the ground. And I, I tripped over it. Oh, no. And uh, I tripped to a security guard catching me. I and do. carrying me away immediately. <gasps> oh. Goodbye, Chris. And I'm, I'm like, oh, no. What have I done? He's carrying me down the stairs. I just went right into his arms. Bear, bear holding me. And I see Tades leaning over leaning <laughs> over the pier or the balcony or whatever. And I shout up at him. I'm like, it's okay. I deserve this. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you do. yeah, you did. <laughs> you, you really went on a tear that night. That was yeah. good. Wow, that was the only bar I remember going to. Yeah, yeah. From, that was bad. <laughs> from oh a God. different perspective, watching Chris being carried away by a large, handsome Puerto Rican man was very romantic. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I think he deserved books that. About in things that like that. He did deserve no, that. I did yeah. deserve that. I, I think That's I learned amazing. a valuable lesson that night. The best yeah, part about that whole trip was that it was the summer that Despacito came out. Stop. Oh, and no. we were in Puerto Rico. We'll never forget. Oh, 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 no. oh boy, so was it Despacito filled? <laughs> it certainly was. <laughs> Can we end this? HotMulliganBand.com slash tour. HotMulliganBand.com slash tower. Thank you Mulligan. so much. Thank you all for coming on. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you for, Thank you for having us. Thanks, you. <laughs> it was wonderful. We'll see you, we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>